and I'm so excited that my phone didn't break. It is a good, good day. I woke up this morning at like 4.30 because Cal was crying and I went in there and he th had thrown up like all over the bed. He's never thrown up in his life. And it was all dried too. So that means he must have done it earlier and I feel so bad. So put everything in the wash. Now it's later I put him back to sleep after I cleaned his bed. But his room still kind of smells. So hopefully that'll go away now that everything's in the wash. Um... But yeah, I don't know. That was the weirdest thing. Like, he had pizza for dinner. I'm wondering if he, like, ate too much of it. Because it was, like, food, like, in his... Uh, this is TMI, but you know what I mean. So, I don't know. But I do feel terrible because I heard him crying at, like, 9 p.m. And I didn't check on him because I was like, Ugh, it's only 9 o'clock. Like, what is he doing? And so I just let him cry for, like, five minutes and he went back to sleep. So I'm wondering if that's when it happened, and I feel so bad then if he had to sleep all night long in a throw up bed and throw up pajamas. Oh my gosh, poor baby. Um, so I don't know when it happened, but he woke up at 4.30 and I went in to check on him because that's about, that's pretty early, but he does wake up at like 5.30 or 6.30 in the morning and wants to nurse. So I went in there and that's when I discovered that he had thrown up everywhere. Okay, so I'm on my way to the gym. I was just thinking like I'm running so late. I look at the clock and it's 9:10, and I'm like, okay, I'm 10 minutes late. And then I just realized the class is at 10. So I don't know what I was thinking, but I'm not running that late. Like I'm actually like 40 minutes early. Um, Cause I'm supposed to leave at 9:30. So I don't know what's wrong with me today, but I'm gonna just go ahead and leave because I did have a ton of like emails and notifications and things on my phone that I didn't even like check so I'm just gonna go ahead and go early and then just like either sit in the car or go sit inside and catch up with everything this morning because I don't know it's not like I have like tons of emails but um, I do get like some YouTube emails and I get comments and I get lots of other things So I try to like go through everything in the morning So I'm gonna sit and do that in the car probably but I just grabbed a cliff bar and my slim and my vitamins and my edge Just to like take everything in the car because I was like I've got to go. Oh, I should I should go to the mailbox I have time now. I think I will do that Okay, so I've got to go get keg parts for our kegerator for our party this weekend and I feel so awkward like walking in there with a baby <laughs> okay so I've got this beanie on because I'm trying to like cover up my gym hair I got the co2 tank or whatever I don't know he I don't know what I'm doing when I'm buying a keg um Anyways, I just got off the phone. I had a very interesting phone call. So if you guys remember way back in like the summertime when Cal had the whole situation with the doctor or the pediatrician and retracting his skin, it was just a huge ordeal and it pissed me off so much. I am still, now that I kind of brought it all back up again, I'm like still very infuriated about the whole situation. If you want to watch that video, I will link it down below. Um, so I just got off the phone with the board of the nursing state or whatever that's called and she was asking me questions about it and you know saying how that it's very odd that she did that and she wasn't wearing gloves and all that kind of stuff and I'm like and honestly like what's done is done but the part that I am so mad about is that they never gave me any resolution which because I contacted a lawyer and they couldn't speak to me anymore or whatever even though I wasn't pursuing charges I just needed advice and this lawyer was very helpful and and just, so anyways I never got a resolution from it but the thing is is that they are still from what I assume is that they're still doing this procedure they're still doing this to babies and they are not they don't know that it's wrong that's the thing that pisses me off the most because they think that they're right and they just keep doing this so that's what I, I made it very clear to this lady I said I just honestly all I want is for them to stop doing this because forced retraction is is not okay and 
it just makes me so angry and I would just I just want a phone call from the pediatrician office and to say you know what thank you for pointing out to us that this was wrong we've been doing this the whole time and we did not know we will no longer be doing this to, you know like that's all I want is just for them to stop doing it honestly <sighs> small rant but anyways we're at Sam's Club and um, we're gonna go in here and get groceries for the party. I think we're gonna grab lunch in there too because it's like super cheap. If you guys have a Sam's Club, you know it's like $2 for like two slices of pizza and stuff. So I think we're gonna have lunch in there and grab our groceries. Is that good? Yeah. Got him chicken and fries, but he only wants the pizza. Yeah. Which I didn't want to give you pizza because that's what you threw up last night. I didn't think you would want pizza. Yeah. But I guess so. Okay, now we're at Walmart. This is like such a long day. It's only 1.15, but I feel like it's so late. So we can't get everything at Sam's um, because I don't want to buy everything in like ginormous um, sizes. So now we're at Walmart to pick up the last of the stuff and then we will be home and I will show you guys everything that we got. Okay, just got home. I'm gonna bring everything in. Cal is napping right now and he I always give him my phone when we're in stores because he like wants something to hold on to and play with but he drops it like a hundred times and it's usually no big deal but he dropped it and it cracked and I was like almost crying I thought it was totally broken but I'm so happy because I pulled off I knew I had a screen protector on so I pulled it off and look can you guys see that Ew, first of all it's so dirty but it's all cracked. It's just the protector that cracked, not my screen. I'm so happy. So I'm like, need to go back up to the Sprint store and get a new one ASAP because I did not know that your phone, that it was that protective. That is so freaking cool. Like it's all cracked. Can't even see. Okay, I'm gonna bring in everything that I got today. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys what I got for our party. So if you're throwing any holiday parties, maybe this will help you and inspire you and give you some good tips on what to buy and where to shop. So I went to Sam's and Walmart. So first of all, I got this bag because it was $6 and I knew I was gonna have to go to Walmart and I didn't want my stuff to thaw out. So I think it's actually a really good price and a bag and everything, oh my gosh, everything's still really, it's very cold in here still and it's been a couple hours. Um, and I'm just gonna keep this in my car. So I got quiches, 48 quiche, 48 pigs in a blanket and mac and cheese bites 38 so each one of these was $11 um, Kind of pricey, but I guess that's a lot of food. So this will feed a lot of people So I'm pretty excited about that. Then I also got this um, Meat and cheese tray. This was also like $11 and then ground beef six pounds We will not be using six pounds. We'll probably use two to three, I'm doing nachos, so I wanted ground beef as a topping. So I'll probably use like two to three of these, but I like how they come in like squares, so then I can freeze them and use them later. So that's actually, a, that was a good deal. I think it was like $16 for those. Um, two jugs of apple cider to make spiked cider, a big sour cream, and then um, nacho chips, this is like a six pounds, <laughs> six pounds of chips, so this will be awesome um, for the nacho bar. And then the beer, the best place to buy alcohol is Sam's because it's so cheap. So I got this big variety pack of winter beers and then this one, Sierra Nevada winter beers. So I just thought it would be fun to have winter beers and I got like little Santa hats that I ordered on Amazon that fit perfectly on top of the bottles. So that'll be so cute. And then I went to Walmart to get the rest of this stuff. Um, first of all, oh my gosh, these diapers. One of you guys, and I can't remember your name because it was on Snapchat and that like disappears and I get confused <laughs> with people's Snapchat names, but thank you so much for showing me these. These are from Walmart and they're like printed like the Honest Company style diapers, but they're so cute, they're Christmas themed. So they're limited edition, nine, $9, I think, $10 for this big box of 62. So I had to get those. And then I also saw these while I was there, another limited edition item, and they are baby wipes, but they are like woodsy scented, let's see. 
fresh woodland. So I don't know, it kind of sounds like it might smell like pine trees or something. So I just saw them, they were like five bucks. So I went ahead and picked them up because I thought that might be like a fun holiday thing to have. Have your wipes smell like Christmas trees. Um, and then I also, this was such a good deal. I needed some serving spoons for the nacho bar and this whole pack was like five bucks. Comes with a whole bunch of different pieces. Um, this random blow up penguin. $14.97, I was like, how could I not buy this? I think I wanna put it, actually I'll show you where I wanna put it. My husband might think I'm crazy, so we might have to return it, but I thought it would be cute on the landing right there because this is where people are gonna walk down to go into the party, but we will have to have like an extension cord because we don't have an outlet right there, but I thought, what a cute little penguin for $15, so we'll see if David lets me keep it. <laughs> and then I got Fireball, of course, it's not a party without Fireball. And this caramel vodka, because these are going to be mixers to go into the apple cider. Um, I've got like four different drink options. I've got apple cider, those beers, a keg, and then wine. And then I got headbands because I needed a headband for my costume for the party to make a Christmas tree topper. And these were three for $4. And at Target, I bought one for six. So I'm gonna return the Target one and keep these. I also got some red hand towels for the bathroom down there. I got some Christmas candy. These caramel M&Ms are so good. If you haven't tried them, you should try them. They're really yummy. Um, I got some little toppings for the nacho station. I got an orange and cranberries to marinate inside of the cider. And then, so I'm not cooking anything if you can't tell. Last year, every year, I like go all out and like Pinterest everything and cook and like, I just stress myself out. So this year I'm like, I'm not cooking. I'm just gonna buy everything pre-made. So I got some little treats from Walmart, peppermint bark and some little brownies and I'll put it out on a tray so it looks like I made it, but I didn't. And then I got some like plastic plates for people to eat on green and red. And then the thing I'm most excited about are these pillows. So I'll show you the bed that I have, but I have like a little um, day bed and I've always like hated the comforter on it. So I found a pink throw from Target and I wanted some pillows, but like literally like, so this size pillow at Target is like $19.99, right? And I wanted like a few. So at Walmart, this was $5. And it's like actually really cute. It's just like baby pink. That's just a fuzz. It's like baby pink. Then this one was like $11 for this really pretty fur. And then this is my favorite, it's humongous. And it's got gold sequins and it's white fur and it was $16. So I love it all. In fact, I'm only gonna buy my pillows from Walmart from now on, my throw pillows, because like what a freaking deal, right? I'm so excited. And I'm so excited that my phone didn't break. It is a good, good day. So the blanket doesn't fit. I can't believe that, isn't it pretty? But for $35, I thought for sure it would have fit a twin bed, but like, it doesn't even come close. I really want like a fur throw like this, but one that will like cover the whole bed. Those are the pillows. See, wasn't it gonna be pretty with those? <sighs> All right, well, I guess I will be returning this as well. But the pillows look really cute. I'll just have to find, I think I'll go to TJ Maxx. They usually have good deals on bedding because it's a twin, so I shouldn't have to spend that much money on a nice looking blanket. Showing off your diapers? I think they're pretty dang cute. Look how cute. And here's what they look like in here. I think there's three different kinds. Those three, yeah. Maybe two different kinds, I don't know. But they're so cute. Okay guys, so I'm working on my um, gift exchange game and I wanted to share it on here in case you throw a party and I, thought, I feel like it's a really good game idea. So I kind of stole it from the game, the voting game, which is like a board game. If you haven't played it, you should definitely try it. It's kind of like, it's like a Cards Against Humanity type game where it's like inappropriate and stuff like that. So it's really fun. So anyways, we always do a Christmas gift exchange where it's like a $10 gift. It could be like a good thing or it could be like a stupid thing. It's just the luck of the draw. 
And so usually we'd like draw numbers to get the gifts or last year um, we read a story and like every time you said, they said right or left, you had to like pass the gift. So I wanted to do a different way this year. So I came up with this idea of questions. So I wrote down like a bunch of different questions. So each person will draw a card and ask the question and they get to pick. So like some of them are gonna be Christmas questions and some of them will be just like funny and some of them will be like inappropriate. So like who is the last person to sit on Santa's lap? Or who will get pregnant next? Or like who's on the naughty list? Who's on the nice list? Um, who has been arrested before? So it's kind of almost like never have I ever as well. So whoever draws the card gets to decide out of the group of people who they think is that person. So who they think is going to get arrested um, or who they think got arrested or who they think is going to get pregnant or who they think is on the naughty list and whoever they pick, they give the present to that person. And then you just go around and I think, I'm not sure if I'm going to let people steal, like if they think another person qualifies for that answer and they already have a gift that they can exchange. I haven't figured out all the details yet, but I think that sounds like a really fun gift exchange game. I'm so excited. Um, so definitely try that. And I made up all these questions myself. I just thought of them. So yeah, I'm pretty creative, I guess. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, Cal just, we were sitting on the couch watching TV together and he was like standing and bouncing and all of a sudden he just started throwing up. Like I freaked out. Oh my gosh. I've never seen anything like that. That was crazy. I don't understand. What's wrong with you, little boy? Yeah. What? You act like you're perfectly happy. Why did you just throw up? Yeah. Also, my couch is nasty, apparently. But yeah, I'm just taking apart the couch, and I'm... Luckily, it's leather, so it just wipes clean. I'm just wiping it all down with Lysol, and I have to wash the blankets and the pillows and everything that was on it. But, I mean, I'm not really concerned about that. I just don't understand why he threw up again he see I mean he was perfectly fine all day today the only thing I can think of my friend was saying this because I told her is that maybe he's eating too much like he eats so much like he just eats and eats and eats so I'm wondering if he's just like eating too much food and then he's getting full I don't know <sighs> if you guys know anything about toddlers throwing up let me know I may it's after five so the doctor's office is closed so I'll keep an eye on him um I don't think I'll call unless it happens again but I'm just at this point I'm still gonna call it just like a fluke or eating too much or something but if it happens again I'm gonna call the doctor and see what what might be going on goodness if it's not one thing it's something else I'll tell you that he also just drank this whole sippy cup of milk that I just filled probably within about 10 minutes. I don't know if that has something to do with it. How's it going? You got the hiccups. Yeah, very good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You seem like you feel pretty good. Yeah. You do? Did you eat too much today? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah? did you stuff yeah. your face with pizza and chicken nuggets and what else did you have? Some of those cheese puffs? Hmm? Did you eat too much food? What are you trying to do? Are you covering my mouth? <laughs> 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 no, I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> hmm? the toothpaste off of it. Take it. Brush your teeth. Ah. <laughs> Brush your teeth. I'll read you a story. 
Brush your teeth. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. Big A, little A. What begins with A? Aunt Annie's alligator. A, A, A. Big B, little B. What begins with B? Turn the music back.